Guys, sorry, I, I just need to come back. Um, there's also someone else here tonight that I didn't thank earlier, and uh, I need to thank them now. Um, she's here as a guest, and she's been planted amongst you all. I know, no one's looking around. Why is no one looking around trying to find out who she is? It's like Big Brother. Um, so I'm not going to introduce her myself. I'd like her to come up and introduce herself. Thanks. Excuse me a moment. Good evening, everyone. My name is Brenda Robinson, and I'm a celebrant. Yeah. It's my great honor to be here this evening to conduct a very special ceremony. Joe and Jeff will be grateful if you respect their wishes and take no photos or videos during the ceremony unless they have personally asked you to do so. If you need to turn your chair around to see what's going on, Please feel free to do so. Joe and Jeff, on your wedding day, you pledged to love each other in sickness and in health, and for better or for worse. The past three years has tested those vows, and you passed the test with flying colours. Your enduring love for one another has prevailed here, tonight, in the presence of your family and friends, you are both ready to reaffirm your love for each other. You have shared the joys, blessings, and yes, the challenges of married life for nearly 12 years. Today, you wish to reaffirm your commitment to working together to make your marriage grow and blossom in the years to come. May this ceremony, renewing the vows you took to become husband and wife on your wedding day, remind you that despite the tremendous stresses and traumas that you have experienced over the past three years, your love, respect, trust and understanding of each other will continue to increase your contentment and heighten your joy in living. Twelve years ago, at Brentwood Registry Office, you promised to love each other for as long as you both shall live. Neither of you could have imagined then that you would come as close to losing the other so soon. You've come a long way together since that awful time. And understandably, understandably you, might, you want to celebrate coming through it and to renew your marriage vows. I was just gonna ask you to face each other and hold hands, but I don't need to, you're there already. Jeff, do you reaffirm your love for Joe? Will you love, honour and cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer or poorer, for better, for worse, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. We will. I will. <laughs> jo, do you reaffirm your love for Jeff? Will you love honour and cherish him in sickness and in health, for richer or poorer, for better or for worse, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. 
At this point, Jeff and Joe have chosen to conclude their ceremony with a traditional hand fasting. This is a symbolic binding of the hands that inspired the terms bonds of holy matrimony and to tie the knot. Throughout history, in many different ways and in many different parts of the world, the hands of the bride and groom were bound as a sign of their commitment to one another. Jeff and Joe, please join your right hands. From this moment, life has begun. From this moment, these plaited ribbons represent the marital bond. They're strong enough to hold you together during times of struggle, yet flexible enough to allow for individuality and personal growth. As your hands are now bound together, so will your lives continue to be bound as one. May you enjoy a lifetime of love and peace, happiness and prosperity. With Joe's loving support along the way, Jeff, may your health continue to improve. It is with pleasure that I conclude the ceremony of renewing the vows of marriage that joined you and binds you as husband and wife. Please celebrate the renewal of vows with a kiss. Please turn and face your family and friends. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the happy couple, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Woo!